Hi, and welcome back to Short Videos in Archaeology. This week we're going to talk a little bit about archaeological survey, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction into how geospatial techniques are incorporated into survey. So survey is one of the most often used techniques in archaeology today. It's done by first gridding off a small field or study area in a program like ArcGIS, creating a series of transects. And then walking back and forth across the field at set intervals looking for artifacts. Once you find an artifact or an artifact concentration, you may drop a pin and keep going. You might decide to look around and see what's there or you might decide to collect all the artifacts. There's no set standard for survey. Everyone does it a little bit different. It all depends on what the parameters of the project are and the environment you're trying to survey. Whatever you decide to do, you're going to either need to come back and record what you found or record what you found while you're doing the survey. This is done usually three ways. First, you record where it is on a GPS Ideally, you'd have a better GPS than this one with more accurate recording. You're going to need to write down what you found in your notebook. And you're going to need to take a picture of what you found. If you plan on collecting the artifacts, all recording needs to be done before you collect them. And when you pick them up, each concentration should go in its own bag with a clearly labeled provenience on it. Once you get back to the lab, any artifacts you collected are analyzed by specialists, and the geographic data you collected on your feature and your artifacts are imported back into the program you created your transects in. This allows archaeologists to conduct any number of geostatistical analyses to better understand their data. And that's basically how survey works in a nutshell. If you like this video, please hit like at the bottom of the screen.